I don't worry about the rest of it. You, you just know? don't worry about the rest of it. That's crazy because I, I talked to a lot of actors before and you know, they're just like, oh yeah, you know, you're working with De Niro or something. You're like, oh shit, I'm working with De Niro and it gets in your head. But you, you, what was your first big movie where you're working with a lot of big stars? Um, Contact. Contact. You're working with Jodie Foster. Working with Jodie. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Who started, he was beginning the rise of his career, right? Yes. And and not at all, you weren't nervous working with Jodie Foster. It just didn't, it just didn't occur to you. You were there to do a part. That was what you did. Well, the interesting thing about Contact was that I... One of my favorite movies. First film, mine too. Yeah. One, and and not dated. No, it works. At all. The whole my, thing with the father at the end still makes oh, me cry. Come on, it did... They download her and give her uh, the image of something so they can talk to her, and it's in the image of her dad. I mean, that's just like unbelievable, incredible. Yeah. First film I did was the Underneath, this little indie film with Steven Soderbergh. Um, you, like that? you like that? You hear that? Yeah, I that's do. my cuckoo clock. I should have turned it off. Yeah, I like it. But go ahead, um, Soderbergh. Uh, I worked on this film called Virtuosity, uh, where where I learned that. Uh, uh, they cut 80% of what I did in the film it was Denzel and Russell Crowe. And uh, they cut 80% of what I did out of the movie. And it was really great because it was my second film and I learned right then and there. Then the next thing that I got was Heat. And yeah. I remember my agent calling and saying, this is a big Pacino De Niro film. It's, it's a small role of, uh, of a role called Van Zant. And I read it and I said, I'm in. He goes, it's not big. And I said, no but it's five scenes and you can't cut them out of the movie. Cause I learned what virtuosity I was, it was, you know, what, what has to be in the movie to tell the story. I was in, it was inconsequential to the story. The part that I played in virtuosity. Yeah. Heat, very consequential. And I still, to this day can read something and go, you don't need that role in the film. Um, and it sometimes can make a decision whether, you know, to go with it or not. Um, but, uh, then I did this thing called Albino Alligator. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, Spacey Kevin Spacey directed, directed it. Yeah. Faye Dunaway and Matt Dillon yeah. and Gary Sinise. So I played a couple of tougher guys. And then I remember at the time back then and thinking, I, I want to, I got to, I want to switch it up. I want to, I want to do something else. And I didn't work for eight or nine months. And then I was living in New York. And my agent said, listen, there's this really cool film with Jodie Foster and it called Contact, but th they're not letting the script out. So if you want to read it, and there's a part of this astrophysicist, you know, who is blind. And if you right. want to, if you want to read it, you have to do it at the casting director's office wow. on Melrose. So People's Express was happening at the time. I got a ticket and I came out, read it in the office, put myself, you know, w went on tape got on a plane, went back to New York. I was back like a day or two. And then Robert Zemeckis saw it. And then they flew me back to meet on it. And it was me and a few other people. And, uh, and, I, and it was like a month later and I ended up getting it. And that was a, that was a huge thing and huge because it really shifted gears for me.